Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. It's been a little bit since I last posted a video and I apologize for that. But in today's video, we have a 2014 Ford Mustang GT. So this car we got it in, we're doing full paint correction on it, um, Expel paint protection film on the full hood and on the front bumper, and then Expel Fusion Plus ceramic coating over the rest of the vehicle. But in today's video, what I'm gonna be going over is how to do a bulk hood installation on this hood. Um, obviously there's no pre-cut patterns for this hood. And uh, I think I have my game plan about how I'm gonna go about doing this install, but um, that game plan could be thrown out the window pretty quick once we get started. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, I'm ready to get going. I've got the film laid down over top of the hood. I've got a ton of slip solution underneath. And I just wanna make sure that I've got film centered. I got lots of excess film um, on each side just to make sure that I'm unlike the last video where I didn't have a big enough sheet of film I made sure that that was not the case this time. So I'm ready to get going. Um, just gonna take my slip solution spray a bunch down on the film Okay, so right now is when I'm gonna, I mean, I've been thinking about my plan of attack um, all morning that I've been working on this vehicle on how I wanted to do this hood, but just for the sake of the video and educational purposes, I'll kind of go over it now. What I'm looking at is, okay, this hood, I mean, we got these, the slope over here, the slope over here. The hood is curved down this way and it curves down this way a little bit on the front corners. So right now, what I wanna do is, I just wanna make sure that I've got the film lined up with the back corners of the hood. And there it is. That's good. Obviously, I'm not gonna wrap this back corner, but I'm gonna wrap the back edge. But right now what I can do is I can take my tack solution and just tack the film to the fender. Now I'm gonna come over here do the same thing. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of tension, not much. Um, I don't wanna be fighting with the film. Okay, that's good. There's tension on the back there. Now, I'm just gonna lift the film up. Get some tack solution underneath there. There we go, that's good. Now I can come over here and you know what? What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this back edge down first, get that tacked into place, everything tacked down over here. Um, reason being is when I pull the film down to try and get rid of these fingers, get tension, and to tack it to the bumper. Um, like right now, if I pull on it, you can see how over there, it's wanting to pull back. So if I can get that down, then I know I can pull on it without having to worry about it popping up. So there, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll come over here. Good, just gonna start in the middle. Got that 
that down. That's good. I'm just gonna go do lots of running around on this one. I've never done a hood like this before, so I'm just doing it live. I'm just gonna pull the film back. There we go. Okay, that's in place. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife just gonna cut off a good chunk of this excess film here. And we'll leave that for the other side. And I'm just gonna lift the film up. Get some tag solution right over here. Try and get some air out. Just like so. See, right now, I actually picked up this uh, this trick on Instagram from a guy named Chris West. His Instagram handle is Clearbra Chris. He had done this on the back of a vehicle where you had a valley like this where Typically, you know, you would squeegee it down, it would want to pop up. So what he did was get some tack solution in there and just pull it down. Now, just with tack solution, this isn't popping up. So I can just take and squeegee it. I'll link his uh, Instagram profile in the uh, description of the video. Is that a hair? Oh, no. Just look, just seeing things. Do the same thing. Now, just take and pull this, hold that down. There we go. That's not gonna pop up now. Now I can come over here to this side, take my knife, there we go. Just gonna throw that off to the side for a bit. Clean that up a little bit later. Get my tack solution in here. There we go. Now, here's what I was mentioning. Just lay this all down, just with a little bit of tension. I'm just gonna push that air out towards the front. squeegee that down that's good same thing here that's good okay there we go. So what I'm going to do right now, before I get any more, uh, before I start tacking anything down anymore, I'm going to lift the film up in the corner, get more tack solution in, or not tack solution, sorry, slip solution. The last thing you want to have happen on a hood that's got as many ridges as this hood has is the last thing you want to have happen is when I go to stretch the film 
and to tack it into place on my four corners that there's a dry spot along one of these ridges and I pull on it and I start to tear the adhesive on the back side of the film. Um, those suck because once you've done that, you're kind of done for. You don't, it's very tough to repair. I mean, if they're minor, you can fix them, but if they're not minor and they're pretty big, you either, well, you have to replace the film. If you want to do a good job and you want your customer to be happy, you gotta pull the film off, try it again. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just getting a bunch of the air out from underneath the film. Just try and create as much, or try and eliminate as much stress as possible. Um, what I'm gonna do now, is actually before I start that you can see over here you got these fingers building up that the film wants to be spread out in a triangular manner into these front corners and that's what I'm going to do right now there we go okay I'm going to get a bunch of tack solution underneath the film here Oh man, I need that squeegee. Create a dry spot right here. I don't want to use a ton of tension because I don't want to run into any potential issues. Okay, here we go. If I need more tension later, I'll just come and do it. Move my dry spot right here. Now, when I do my stretch, what I'm looking for is, I'm looking to stretch out these fingers over here on the front of the hood. So I obviously didn't stretch it as much into place as I should have on the other side, but that's okay. I can come back. I can come back and do that later. Now I've never installed PPF before using a 72 inch roll. I'm using a 60 inch roll right now. And I know that on a lot of Mustangs, guys are, guys are using that 72 inch roll just, just so that they've got more film to work with in lengthwise. Actually, now when I come back, there really is no fingers. That's actually perfect. That's exactly what I want. So I'm just gonna take my hand, get this air out. Air is not your friend when you're doing PPF installs. So right over here, we have a bit of a sticking spot. I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up. What I'm gonna do now is just very lightly. I felt the speck of contamination right there. Um, lift the film up. See right there, we're starting to stick on the, uh, on the ridge. And like I said, we don't want that. Oh man. go okay that's good that's good okay 
Time for a thumbnail. And I can hear this letting go. No. Shit. Pardon my language. Let's uh, try and stick it to the headlight. Yeah, that's not, that's not gonna work. Doesn't have to be beautiful, it just has to be effective. Right now it's doing neither. Dang. Just wants to, just, just wants to pull back. Well, let's see if that will stay. Okay, if I work quick, it will. Same thing as we did before. Let's get the air out. Slip solution is drying up on the film. So need to add some more. Okay, I'm um, just gonna lift this up right here, or get the air out of it, I should say. Okay, that's good. Naturally, I got this finger that's wanting to pop up over here. It's very loose, so I'm not uh, gonna worry about that. I can get that out later. Um, since I can't reach the back of the hood because the hood is so big, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come along to the side here. Do a strip down the middle. There we go. Now I'm going to start working everything towards me. Always remembering to overlap squeegee strokes. Now, when I work the ridge, I'm gonna work it with my squeegee at an angle, so I'm not pushing moisture back, I'm pushing the moisture down. There we go. That's good, now I'm gonna run along this ridge right here, make sure there's no moisture left, and there's not. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna continue to do the same thing. Work everything towards me. There's so much tension along this ridge that it's not wanting it's not wanting to be pulled down towards me. So in that case, I just push it out the front. Just make sure, just make sure there's nothing that's causing any issues. Perfect. Okay. 
Now I'm just gonna push everything. See, so much tension here, I can't even get the stuff out. So I'm just gonna lift the film up. There we go. Come over here. Make sure there's no tack marks. There's not. Okay, that's good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off the slip solution. Make sure that there's no contamination being left behind that I can see. I'm always keeping an eye out for it while I'm doing my install. I've got a bit of moisture right there. So what I'm gonna do is squeeze that out like nothing. Good. So I don't see any uh, contamination anywhere. Uh, I was just on the top of the film. Okay, that's good. Now, spray down the top of the film. Get more slip on there. If you run, if you run your squeegee over dry film, you can definitely, definitely uh, leave behind some tack marks. Tack marks don't look good. They can disappear a little bit in the sun, but not fully. I guess this ridge, you know what? I'm just gonna pull all this moisture to the front. Good, now I'm gonna work this ridge, squeegee at an angle. sure there's no moisture left behind. I felt like there was a little bit of moisture left right over there, but got that all out. Now I'm just gonna pull all the moisture or all the slip solution down. Work it all out the front. Now I'm just going to lift this up. There we go. Okay, that is close to being completely done. Still have those edges to wrap, but We will get to that. So I apologize for this, there being such a delay in videos. I wanted to make sure that whatever was coming into the shop wasn't something that I've already made a video about. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, let me know in the comments section. If you haven't, let me know in the comments section. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, take my tack solution, pull the film back right here, get tack in there. That's gonna be good for now. go okay perfect now what I'm gonna do is get another photo
Okay, now that I have my knife, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and between the hood and the fender, I'm just gonna slowly start trimming back. Now that's just wanting to pull. Good job, Eric. Now you got a real problem on your hands. Get this down before you start having permanent fingers popping up. I'm not gonna edit this part out of the video because I've never, never done a hood like this before. So I'm going just based off of what I, what I thought was the right thing to do. Now I know for next time, I'm gonna have to leave that to dry out quite a bit more, but what I'm doing, pulling that down. Come over here, trim this back and anticipate the exact same thing on the driver's side. This time I got my stuff ready to go. Huh, not as bad. Okay, there we go. Okay. I'm not too terribly worried about it pulling back now. Okay, that'll be good. I do not want to run the risk of cutting paint. That's not fun. Okay. Now, we're gonna come over here. And I'm gonna get this corner back. Get some tack solution in there and pull off this just a little bit. There we go. Good. For now, that's gonna stay. Try things a little bit differently here. Okay. That's good. I'm going to pop the hood open. Good. Now, now I have to resort to using an Expel Fusion box. For some reason, I misplaced my Ceramic Pro box, which sucks because nobody makes a box as good as Ceramic Pro. Now all I'm doing is I'm just flushing all the slip solution out. And I'm just gonna take, run my squeegee along this edge with the squeegee at an angle. So I make sure that I'm not leaving any, 
any moisture behind. Now this little bit over here is gonna be really, really tough to wrap, but luckily with this narrow squeegee, I'm, I can get in there. There we go. Okay, now. This hood might have some of the best edges to wrap. Not wrapping all the way around, just wrapping around this front side here. Okay. That is gonna basically do it for this video. Um, again, I thank you guys all for checking the video out. If you guys enjoyed it or you didn't, let me know in the comments section. I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and yeah, stay tuned for more. I'm going to try and make sure that there's not such a gap between videos now. So take care.